And good evening. Thanks for joining us for ABC 24 News at 10. I'm Brad Broders. We start tonight with a ballot measure in Arkansas drawing plenty of attention as voters will decide whether to legalize recreational marijuana in the natural state. Stefan Reels breaks down what's at stake with a reaction from both sides of this contentious issue. Voting day, we expect a lot of support. In Arkansas, ahead of Election Day, many eyes are on issue four that would legalize the growing and selling of recreational marijuana in the natural state. If it passes, adults over 21 could possess and use up to one ounce of marijuana legally. Supporters like Timothy Moore from Greenlight Dispensary believe it would lead to safer sales and conditions. It's a lot of stuff on the streets right now that is actually hurting our youth, killing our youth. Everything we sell is tested, everything we sell is safe. Um, this is the safest way to consume cannabis. It will drive people more and more into the black market to buy it illegally because it's cheaper. On the other side, Jerry Cox from the Family Council Committee argue the vote is more of a bait and switch, allowing marijuana interests to be written into the state constitution. It's people on the marijuana side that hate it, People on my side hate it, but what this amendment does, it obliterates much of the medical marijuana program and replaces it with this monopolistic recreational marijuana program. Supporters believe the potential fears of marijuana legalization are overblown. Going through the medical process, there is certain fees and things like that, um, that with the uh, adult use amendment four would relieve that. It's still not going to be legal in uh, public places so you can't smoke at schools and parks and things like that. It won't just open up the floodgates like people think. If issue four passes, there will be a 10% tax on marijuana sales. 15% of that would be used to offer a stipend to certain law enforcement officers. But Cox said how those dollars would be used is unknown. That money for police that they promise, it's a stipend at the end of the year. Nobody knows how much it's going to be. And so what we're dealing with here is a bait and switch. Reporting in West Memphis, I'm Stefan Reels.